This in absolutely no way can be worse than what I just sat through. I may or may not have just sat there and watched almost four hours of a baseball game that was never a baseball game. It was a football game taking place in the middle of July. I'm done talking about it. What we have here tonight is something that I would hope, I would hope this would honestly make my night better by doing something like this. What you might be looking at on your screen right now might just be a full lineup of, of troublemakers. Let's just put it that way, all right? Let's just put it in terms of ways where it's not too much of a crazy word. I don't wanna go to that length of saying the word. I'm just gonna use the word troublemakers for this. There is quite a collection here, actually. We got some people here who have been absolutely roided out of their minds, and we got some people here who have been doing the opposite of roided out of their minds. Behind the plate this evening will be the 86 overall Grand Doll. That kind of rhymes, but this is actually not even really good at all. If we're talking in terms of hitting, I don't, I don't know, even that power might not mean anything. With the 65 contact, I will be lucky to put the ball in play. Jason Giambi is at first base. This guy was... Remember watching Giambi and he was always, his hair was always soaking wet. Makes you think, was it sweat? Or does that even... What? Brian Roberts is at second base. This is not bad. I've used it before. Well... Here he is. The man himself is at short this evening. This might actually be the best card that I'm going to use in this. This is very good, actually. That'll be very interesting if they go far and... Imagine if they win the World Series. Gary Sheffield is at third base. I believe this is another individual who simply came out and admitted I took steroids. Or if it wasn't I admitted to taking steroids, it was something in terms of, well, I was given something and I took it, but I didn't really know it was steroids. Ryan Braun is in left field. I remember back in the day when he told, or Aaron Rodgers was coming out on TV saying that this guy was not on juice or something. And then the next day, it seemed like he got accused and proven that he did or something. Imagine that sequence. George Springer is in center field. Hey man, this is absolutely a non-biased channel. I have no problem admitting that the Jays signed somebody who was on a team that was caught cheating. And Nelson Cruz will be in right. That is a hard sentence to say without worrying about that. This is going to be pathetic. Offensively, it is very good. Boss. Man. Astros heavy bench with Altuve, Gurriel, Bregman, and then Marte and Polanco are also here. I am going to be using Garrett Cole in this game, and there is no other pitcher here who is probably able to be. You simply cannot fill an entire bullpen with people who have been troublemakers. Garrett Cole with his most recent newsworthy event, I feel like is, is headlining this team. Well, again, it's time to look at the keyboard. Honestly though, ranked takes my mind off of the pain that I had to sit there and watch for the last couple of hours. I guess it really depends on what happens in the game, but if we're talking about, well, that now will be very shitty. Well, let it begin. Great. What a fucking great game this will be. You know what? I don't even really care. As long as this isn't fucking Cabrera. Although this will be very interesting as this is the first time I will be facing DeGrom. This might be the first time facing DeGrom at all this year. All right there, uh, Roberts. Let's get this going here early. I don't want this to go deep with nothing done. Man, this is fucking scary. You know by the size of everyone's PCI when it's scary. Holy fuck. Jesus, that's fucked, man. I remember last year, DeGrom's fastball was easily the fastest in the game. Good. Fuck it. Put the ball in play at this point. I would have really done anything to face a lefty this game. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball. Man, I'm gonna have to sit on that if I want to be on it. All right. Well, that's a oh shit. That's actually a good sign that I was on that. Kind of a miracle. Off speed. I didn't even see that. Where the fuck? You know, it's games like this that make me really wish I was in like the fucking spring training division. Ah, oh, man. Cole's gonna have to pitch the fucking game of his life. Well, this guy's got the right idea. Wait for the fastball and pray to Christ you foul off the off speed. Oh shit, he roasted that. Oh boy. Come on, man. That's not a good start at all. 
Hurry. I feel hope. I feel hope after that. That honestly could have changed my mindset the rest of this game if that went south. That's how you get out of it. I am absolutely fucked this game. I just need to wait. If I'm not sitting on the exact pitch I'm waiting for, I don't see how I'm going to do anything. Jesus, this is going to be one of those games where I need to hit. I was counting on the pitching to bail my ass out the last, like, month. That's not going to help me this game. Garrett Cole is not going to get the job done against this guy. This guy has Vlad Batten sixth. Has the memo not been handed out? Dude, he only hits home runs, buddy. Pitch of the game. Maybe that was. Come on, George. Fuck. Someone get it going here. This is bad. Wait a minute. The fucking steroids are all over the field. Brian Roberts with the orbital shot. Opposite field. Dude, that was actually hit priest. Or no, it wasn't. No errors. For the love of shit, no errors. Jesus, this guy's batting 400 with DeGrom too. If I can hit with DeGrom, I'm sure anybody can. That's dangerous. That's very risky. What? You stupid idiot. Buzzkill. Gotta have a lead in this shit. This is fucking insane. This is insane. This is insane. Who the fuck is doing good against DeGraw? <sighs> Man, how am I getting out? You know how I know this is going to be bad, though, is because this guy's putting the ball in play, at least. I barely put anything in play. All right, come on. This is not going far. Or what? I'm so fucking scared. I'm just spitting out words. That's fucking just... That's destroyed! Sheffield with the opposite field shot now. Oh my shit, that is absolutely destroyed. I can't even see the ball coming in. 458! That a boy, Cole. Put it in play, buddy. Maybe something will happen. Alright, yes, yes. Putting the ball in play a little bit here now. This guy might not be laughing at me at this point. That was a fucking absolute mammoth shot to center field. Ah, oh my God. Big pitch. Any pitch that gets an out is automatically a big pitch at this point. Don't be scared. Throw it in there. This is either going to be a home run or a swing and a miss. Well, count it as the ladder. That was probably the dumbest pitch of the game, but he swung at it. Dude, I am all over that. And I don't know how. Look at this. What the fuck was that? The ball was in his glove and I swung at it. Wait, that might... Oh, never mind. I just got the first two guys on, didn't score. I was kind of feeling good about that, too. That may have been the problem. I should have felt very shitty going into that at bat, and I probably would have hit a three-run shot. I feel like a porcupine next to a bottle of oven cleaner right now. This is just fucking very shitty. Very shitty of a feeling when you don't do something like that when you have a chance. Come on, strike him out. Nice pitch. A two-run lead is not big. What is that? Is that even a lead at this point? That was the fucking same pitch he hit a home run on. How long do you leave Cole in the game is the question. Swing! Might be taken out in a minute. Alright, get him out. Get him out of there immediately before he can even get to the mound. Wasn't a bad outing until that inning. Now it's time to do something. If I can't do something now, then I'm probably not going to continue to win this. 
That's a fucking big hit. Bregman actually came up with a very large hit right there, I think. Roberts again! Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know how the hell. That was bad. Oh my god, that was bad. What a sequence. That was a home run. That is no way in hell still in the stadium. Fucking 6-5 right now, dude. Watch the peanuts. That is officially pitch of the game. Might be a legend. Might be a legendary human being for doing that, to be honest with you. Brian Roberts, if this guy goes fucking deep again, I would have absolute. That was that. Wait. That was that far? Dude, if I was on that, that is never landing. Come on! I was waiting for that, you son of a bitch. I got caught guessing. That's the fucking... Ah, that's this one of the scariest plays in the game. That and the weak dribbler in front of the plate. Words cannot describe how big that first out was. Now you get the second one without anybody on base, motherfucker. If that was in the zone, goodbye. I cannot believe I won that. Ryan Roberts might have single-handedly done that for me. Holy shit. My chest is tightening. My chest is tightening up after that game. Holy shit. I am feeling stress beyond belief. That was one of those games where it just suddenly escalated into a bloodbath out of nowhere. It started off nothing. And then look at this. The field is red. The field has body organs on it for how much of a bloodbath this was. Oh.